Christmas time is coming. That means all the treats. Let's try that. Ah, memories. Would no you... other holiday brings more memories than the Christmas holiday. <sighs> we have 11 items back from our childhood nostalgic days. That's right, 11 store-bought items. So we're going to be ranking them between nostalgic, taste, and value. Ooh. And uh, I'm curious, what item from your childhood? Dude, now that you put me on the spot, I... you know the like circus animal, like cookies? The yeah. like pink and white ones? But that's not Christmas. They did Christmas ones. Oh. There were like trees and wreaths and stuff, and those were- They were like white and red and green, right? Yeah. 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 Yes. I loved those. I forgot. They, that, that was the those. that was what Christmas tastes like. Cheap hard frosting. <laughs> sprinkles. <laughs> I'd have to say for me, I think the lifesaver books. Oh my gosh, yes! Right? We got one every Christmas. Right? Let's get started. We've got 11 items to rank. And first on the list is. I don't care what shape you put it in, these are delicious. Presentation is great. Yeah. Little Debbie just nails it with their shapes. They got great cookie cutters. Mm-hmm. Oh yeah, man, that takes me back. Gosh, I love these. Good call on this for breakfast. Solid work. How much do those cost? That's two dollars. Two dollars for a box of five cakes. Which makes them 40 cents each. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm having a hard time because I just want to give it tens across the board. But yeah, it's just bias. Like, you know what we need? What? We need to bring in the experts. Snowy and Steve! Snowy and Steve! Alright, let's get them. They'll be able to judge us. Get them. down here, boys! Ho, 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 enough of the shelf for me. We bring lots of joy and happiness to thee. Wake up, me kitties, yo! Ho, ho! Get it? I don't. It's our new song. Well, I, I know that's our new song, but where'd you get the song from? It's, it's Pirate Play for me! <laughs> I didn't have a childhood, apparently. Oh, okay, Snowy. Somebody's been stuck at the North Pole too long. Nostalgia-wise, I'd, I'd give it about a... a 7.5. 7.5. Taste? We're looking at like a 9.3. <laughs> 9.3? Yeah. Are you doing these numbers in your head? Because I don't know how to do decimals. I'm, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Value-wise, coming in at 40 cents a tree. Yes. Killer value. Because not only can you stock your shelves with boxes on boxes, but it's something you want to eat and savor so you don't just gobble down. 9.9! 9.9? Yes! On the value scale. Man, that doesn't give us a lot of room to find a real winner then. If beyond this. Close enough. Mm-hmm. Alright, next, next item. Next item! What Christmas could be complete without an orange oh. smack on the table? The orange smack on the table. This one's a classic. This one came out the year that Santa was a little perturbed with children acting like turds on record numbers. So he needed something to take out his aggression. You get this, and it says right there, whack and unwrap. See, presentation here is beautiful. Yeah, Look at that. It's got, great. it's got the texture of an orange. Yeah. But the consistency of chocolate. I'm at a loss. Fun fact, when I was a youngster, I didn't like these. What? I, I thought it was a dirty trick. You thought it was a dirty trick for mm -hmm. chocolate to taste like orange? Yep. Or a sneaky way to make me eat fruit. You didn't like fruit as a kid? No. <laughs> Even if I didn't eat it as a child, there is nostalgia there because I remember the commercials. They just smacked it on a bunch of different surfaces and then opened it. <laughs> nostalgic value, what would you say? 7.7. Wow, a little bit higher on the higher, a little bit higher, because I do remember these more. I'm gonna give these a six. All right, all right. And then taste, fantastic, spot on. It's a chocolate orange, there's no competition. For the pure fact that I couldn't eat that whole thing right now, but I could probably eat that whole box of Little Debbie's. Very true. I think, uh... Like a 4.3. Yeah, maybe like a five. Let's give it a five. Okay, we'll give it a five. Well, that was three dollars, which comes to 75 cents a serving. There's four servings. Four servings in this. See, I count the whole thing as one serving, so. Because you either finish it or you don't, and it goes <laughs> to waste. In my opinion, it's a little steep. It's a bit steep. It's a bit steep. Value maybe like a three. My young elf wrote. wallet wasn't a fan. Next on the list. Oh, classic, of course, the candy cane. The candy cane's part of our basic food groups. That's right. I don't feel like the peppermint ones are near as nostalgic as the 
cherry flavored candy canes. Because that was the best one, and the ones you always try to eat. Well, try to eat, try I don't know about you, but the very first time I ever went sat on Santa's lap, I got a cherry candy cane. Ain't nobody want a natural peppermint. Nobody wants a natural. Oh man! Everyone breaks their candy canes in half, and then they turn this one it's into best a way spike. To, it's the best way to open it. Oh, I always made the spike. Everyone yeah. always made the spike. That's when you look at Grandma, and you're like, "Don't piss me off, Grandma." You make this your last Christmas. Cherry like definitely a, has more, more nostalgia for me. Like a like an eight. Oh yeah, I just sat on Santa's lap right here. I'm gonna give it a, a five in taste, and here's why. I I think three in taste. Okay, I like that better. I like it, but I would choose a lot of other candies before it. This was the last straw. Yeah, as it were. What's our value add on these? Each box was one twenty nine, making them eleven cents each. Eleven cents a pop. I mean. This is a great way to show your neighbors that you care without spending a whole lot of money. Next on the list. Oh, 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 oh. if any of you have ever had a grandma, you should know what these are. Yes. I gotta say, as a kid, these always threw me off because I'd always look at them and be like, oh, those are gross. And then I'd have yeah. one and then I'd have an entire sleeve. Right? They were deceiving because they don't look good. They don't. They don't. But one bite mm. and you're yeah. hooked. These took the place of those strawberry candies in the summertime. Yes. You know what <laughs> or, I mean? the, or the caramels. Where do they even get those? <clears throat> I don't know. There's like an old person website they probably go to. <laughs> have these things mass produced and shipped. Nostalgia value. And I'm gonna give it a six. So whenever I see this, I think of grandma. That's pretty nostalgic. So nostalgia wise, I probably will go with like a like a 8.5. But on taste. Like a two. Yeah, they're good. They're good, but they're just not as good as other treats. Yeah. Gosh, you can buy that whole tin for? The whole tin is $3.99, which makes them 10 cents per cookie. 10, 10 cents, cents per cookie. cookie? Man, that is a killer value. It's a killer deal, but is it valuable? I, I mean, if your house is on fire, are you gonna grab these first? Nah. Nah, these are like a one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, a one. One on the value scale. One on the royal death. Great for nostalgia, weak on taste and value. Oh, Queen Anne, why are they all like royal? It's like Christmas royalty comes out and they're like, hey, we have treats we'll share with you. We don't well, share with you during the year. Exactly. This is another thing that reminds me of old people. Whew, that smell reminded me of old people. I don't think we had these in my house as a kid, but yeah, these were all over the place at my work. Like, I, no matter what job I had, this, yes. these were all over the place. Nobody likes these that much. <laughs> I, I kind of do. No, <laughs> get back to work. Sorry. I'm not even sure that's a real cherry. <laughs> Tastes like regret, resentment, and the forceful need to have to get your annoying cubicle mate something for Christmas. Here you go, Brenda. Enjoy your cherries. I used to like those. Mm -hmm. Not so much mm -hmm. today. That's Maybe cause... it's because it's so early. I'm still waking up. Maybe my taste buds haven't fully kicked in. <laughs> Great. That was... I got chocolate all over the floor now. Nostalgia brings you back feelings of happiness. This, when I remember seeing it as a child, made me angry. <laughs> Negative two. <laughs> taste? Like a, like a one. It's still sweet. The box was two dollars, which makes them forty cents per serving. Terrible value. Overpriced. Negative two. You're <laughs> losing money by buying that. <laughs> well, technically, you're losing money when you buy it. You're losing more money than you spent at the door. <laughs> you're losing friendships. <laughs> What's next? Marshmallow Santa. Marshmallow Santa. Oh. First off, doesn't have a face. That does not look anything like Santa. No, nope. it's just a clump. You know, I've always asked our confectioners how they make the marshmallows stay so juicy. They won't tell me their secret. That's why I always give them chocolate covered cherries for people. Nostalgia, a number, maybe five. I was gonna give it a four. Okay, four it is. Taste, I don't know. I'm gonna go with a four. Four, a little, four. A little bit better it's than- It's good. It's better it's than the It's not more quality, which by oh. far is the best marshmallow treat out there, followed closely by the Rice Krispie. They oh. were 79 cents each, buy two, get one free, so make some 53 cents each. 53 cents? What if you don't have two ki three kids? One for you. 
Well, if you don't want one, <laughs> then you split it amongst your kids. All I know is that is a terrible value, in my opinion. I got like a like four. Contrary to popular belief, elves still need healthy food in their bellies. That is true. And you know what, Snowy? I am tired of sugar right now. We need to get a little salty in there. Yes. Before we come back. For sanitary purposes, we've lost our mittens. Because who knows what's all kicked in those. Chocolate covered cherries. <laughs> Get in. <laughs> now, as you all know, it is Christmas time here in the North Pole, the busiest time of the year. And so we don't got a lot of time to make food for ourselves. We're busy making toys, wrapping presents. Exactly. So good thing that all these HelloFresh meals only take around 30 minutes to make. Ho, 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 devilish of life for me. After a long, hard day in the shop, nothing gets me more excited than HelloFresh because I look forward to coming home and cooking every meal. Oh, yeah. Look at those taters. Toss him. Ooh, almost lost one. No Tato left behind! One of my favorite things about HelloFresh is that even if we need a little pinch of something, we don't have to waste time buying the whole thing at the store. They give us the perfect amount for the meal that we're having. The best part is you can let HelloFresh do all the hard work so you can cook, eat, and enjoy week after week. Mm-hmm. Look at these fat little nuggets. Mm -hmm. Oh my! It's looking so good already. And this right here is why HelloFresh starts at $6.99 per serving and is America's best value meal kit. Yes! And trust us, because we know about value. Get started with six meals free. That's two free meals in each of your first three boxes. Just go to HelloFresh.com and enter promo code TRIBE60 and get $60 off your first purchase. Mm-hmm. Holy crap, that is so freaking good. You know what we're missing, Snowy? Huh? A good drink. Oh, eggnog. Yep. Let's get it. All right, Cam. Yeah. Eggnog, where you at? I'm just saying eggnog is like the Paul Revere of Christmas. Because when eggnog shows up on the shelves, you know Christmas is around the corner. Okay, okay. You can't have Christmas without eggnog. I disagree wholly. Yes. You don't like? I have tried eggnog every year for 137 years, and I cannot find a way to like it. You don't tell Miss Claus, she'll be real heartbroken. Still holds nothing special to me. Okay. Nostalgia? I give it an eight. An eight? Yes, like I said, it brings in the Christmas year. Oh my gosh, I can't say eight. I would say maybe a zero. Okay, we meet in the middle. Not going <laughs> negative. Okay, taste. Taste? Obviously, you don't like the taste. I'd give it about a four. I mean, it's not bad this year. I'll give it a two. Maybe next year I'll like it. Value, how much is this? The whole carton is $2.99, making it 19 cents per serving. But you can also make other things with eggnog. You can. I think it's a great value. I'm gonna say I'm gonna give it like an eight. Oh, alrighty then. Right? For an eight. Because you can make stuff with it, people love it, enjoy True. it, you can host parties with it, you can spike it if you really wanna get crazy. <laughs> if you wanna get real elfed up. <laughs> next on the list, a little peppermint, woof. All right, now peppermint bark is something I have just recently come into love with. This is the magical touch that peppermint cane needed mm -hmm. to become delicious and a holiday treat. Now, nostalgia. For me, zero. I have no affinity or nostalgia mm -hmm. tied to this at all. Yeah, it's not really a tradition of mine. Yeah. And fun fact, you know why it's stored in here in broken pieces and not neatly cut? Why? The elves who make it aren't allowed to use knives. <laughs> True story. They lost that privilege. <laughs> Bob. Ooh. I'm gonna give taste like a s I'm gonna go eight. I'm gonna go eight. I'm more of a seven. You're gonna go a seven? Mm-hmm. So I think yeah, we're right there on the same page. Mm-hmm. Value. Now this thing. This whole tub was $8.99. Ooh, that's a little steep. For $8.98. There are 30 servings when the tub was full, yeah, making it 30 cents per serving. <laughs> I ate a lot of it. I mean, it did raise the bar on the peppermint. I'm gonna give it a six. Six? Six. I think I'm right there with you. Okay, next up. I'm assuming the next one's one of your favorites. Yeah, it is! Oh, this right here. The golden ratio of chocolate to peanut butter. Is that what that is? That is what this is. I have to say. I'm giving it a 10 on taste. I don't even know I mean, why. I'm The trees taste so much better than the traditional They ones. do! 
They Why got that extra that? Christmas flavor. I'm telling you, it's the golden ratio. Oh. 10, 10, 10. Across the board, all 10s. I think this was the, the winner in my book without question. However, the little Debbie's trees, man. Those I know, those are real, real. Those shocked me. Man, nostalgia factor, definite 10. Taste, 10. 10, you can't go wrong with these. And value, what's the value? The package was $149, making them $0.75 cents each. Underpriced. <laughs> Underpriced? <laughs> Don't tell them that, they'll raise the prices. I'll be honest on this. I think it's a bit much. They give you two tiny cups for the same price as a regular king size. Give me a break. Five on value. Reese's, up your game. Probably your least favorite. <laughs> negative 10, negative 10, negative 10. Mm. You hear the thud that thing makes when it hits the table? <laughs> we watched Home Alone 2 the other day, and the part where Calvin's up top and he's hucking the bricks down and hitting Marv in the face. I was like, this is that brick. <laughs> Ye old English, this is the, the bitterness of a country that lost to a bunch of scrubs hiding in bushes today known as the United States of America. They're just pissed that we won and they're still trying to punish us. Go ahead, open it up. No. We gotta try it. Our very first video, Cam and I tried fruitcake. <sighs> I threw up all over the floor and you- I threw up. Threw up in a bucket. In a bucket. But <laughs> that's why you threw up on the floor is because I took the bucket. That's why we're a little apprehensive. This one smells better than the other one. It looks better. It's more expensive, too. Ah! Get that red thing in there. I don't want it. Oh, you got one. Oh, no! Eat that! No! I'm gonna wait till you get yours down, because your little Mom. guttural noises is what made me throw up last time. Still hate it. Okay. It kind of smells like a fig bar. Kinda. Fun fact, the elf, the elf that made fruitcake was excommunicated from the Santa regime. He's wandering the wastelands of South America, South Africa, South, South, Southern, Antarctica. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Negative 10, negative 10, negative 10. This is something you only give to your enemies. Yeah. People you don't like. And you don't even give it to them, you throw it through their window. Yes. How much does that demon cost? That whole thing was $8.99, making it $2.25 per serving. Rip. Garbage! Ah. This final item is the most nostalgic for me. I think it is for you too. Okay, let's see, let's see, let's see. And not necessarily for good reason. Hear that sound. Ah, yes! The popcorn tin. The popcorn tin. I don't know if there's anything more nostalgic than this. I feel like every house across the nation had one of these on their counter for Christmas. Every year we'd get a new one and we'd line them on the top. They were right? Christmas decorations. Right? Put them on top of the shelf. I don't know about you guys, but in my household, it always went caramel, cheddar, then butter. That was the way we ate it. We always went cheddar, butter, caramel. What? I like my popcorn salty, not sweet. How can you not eat caramel first? That is so good. It is yummy. All right, nostalgic factor. Oh, 10. A 10. <laughs> I'm gonna give it an 11. You know what? I concur. <sighs> Taste? Oh, you're five. Yeah, they're really good. I mean, they're not that good at all. <laughs> <laughs> but you just ate it because it was Christmas and it was there. Value? What was the cost of this bad boy? The whole thing was $5.99, making it about 35 cents per serving. 35 cents a serving. Nine! Nine on value? 10. 11. <laughs> You're just spraying? <laughs> I'm gonna say a seven on value. Ah! I feel like. But the memories. The memories. Right. Nostalgia can be worth more. All right, I'll give it an eight. Yeah! All right. Now that we've rated all your stuff, 
Let's give it back to Austin and Cam. Yep, I'm going back home. Huge thanks to Snowy and Steve. Good looking bunch of guys. You ever notice that? Just Dude, something about them. They are so good. Just looking. handsome men. 100%. Love it. I am curious what the top three were. Yes, yes. I believe I, I got it. I actually got a text from uh, Steve. The first one was Reese's. Solid. Right? Reese's Christmas tree, followed by the little Debbie Christmas trees. Mmm. Mm. Trending topic. Trees. And then, and then, yep, totally. And then the third was the popcorn Christmas tin. <sighs> Solid winners. Solid mind. choices. I mean, they couldn't have chosen Dang. better judges. They nailed it. They know it better than we do. You guys know what to go get now. You want to make Christmas in your house, those are the top three items you need to have on hand all December. All right. There you have it. Thanks for joining us. We hope you enjoyed it, and we'll see you next time. Bye! Oh, are you guys going to eat it again? Should we not? I was going to say no. I was going to say just get to rating them. Oh. <laughs> well. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm going to go real hard. I mean, we can't rate it if we've never tasted it, you silly girl. <laughs>